Hello, everybody. We are kind of doing a little rough, uh, rough uh, espresso review this morning. Hope you're all having a lovely, lovely morning. Um, let me um, get set up here. Just give me one moment. We are uh, reviewing the necessary coffee. Hopefully the audio is okay. So, we are going to, I'm using my sete today, um, all reliable, and uh, we're going to do 15 grams in, and we're going to do 45 grams out in about 28 seconds. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let me turn off, I have a water fountain running in the background, I'm going to turn off real quick. Okay, hopefully that helped. All right, so let's get to it. And I'll bring this over here, you can see it. I just got this coffee in yesterday. And I dialed it in live on Instagram. So if you ever want to catch some videos or live streams on there, go ahead and follow me on there. We have a good time. I see Linda was on, she knows. Um, yeah, so uh, this was roasted. This is, uh, like I said before, this is Necessary Coffee. It was, this is their blend. Uh, I looked it up and it's from East Africa and um, South America. So that's the blend. It's kind of a medium roast. Um, and this was roasted on 11-4. Uh, what was the question? Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we had fun on live streams, Linda. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully everything comes out as it just did a little bit ago. I'm going to heat my cup up real quick. Also, I uh, just uh, let folks know the uh, Silvano review is coming soon. I promise I'll probably record it this weekend and um, and have something there for you. So we have 15 grams in. Looks pretty good. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's pretty good. It smells nice. Um, when I open the bag, it smells. Very nice. I get like toasted marshmallows. Um, let's, uh, I'll, I'll do that actually. I'll smell it for y'all. All right, so let's do that shot. Hopefully it pulls the same as it did before. And it looks almost identical. So I think we should be pretty close to that. Great. Yeah, maybe I can show folks. All right, we got about seven seconds left here. Twenty-eight seconds. So let me uh, see what we got out. We actually got thirty grams out, so that's okay though. That's like a one to two ratio. Um, it's actually more traditional for espresso. Uh, so here's the beans here. Hopefully uh, you can see it. it looks pretty good. Not too dark, um, but I'd say it's probably on the slightly darker, like a medium dark. Smells all right there. It smells really nice if you kind of give the bag a shake. Kind of get some tart cherry, some nice kind of like maple wood. And uh, the toasted, toasted marshmallows, like I was saying. So uh, the shot looks great too. So let me give you a quick look there. Shot looks really nice. Had a, it has a lot of crema in it. Oren, thanks for the love. Thanks for uh, loving the live streams. Early morning, but you know, it's fun to fun to get up and do the things, you know. All right, so 
I just mixed it up. Let's give it a shot. Very nice. Smooth. Um, very traditional flavors of espresso. You kind of have that little bitterness. It's not too bitter, actually. Um, I did have earlier when I was dialing it in, it was a little bit more bitter. Um, but now it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little bit bitter. It's got nice, um, sweet um, tastes kind of on the back middle of my tongue. I'll get more in depth with the flavors I'm getting. Yeah, I kind of got that molassesy flavor a little bit, um, the brown sugar. It doesn't have a lot of complexity. It really has that traditional, like old school, um, sort of Italian um, espresso flavor, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go too crazy on it or anything like that. This is a this is B Corp certified. It's um, it's not organic or anything like that, but it was roasted pretty pretty recently. It put out a decent amount of crema, not like too much, but it was you know it was pretty good. Let's see if we get any other flavors now that I've had a couple of sips. Oh yeah, Linda says that her espresso, it's been hard for her to get some, um, the grind size right for espresso. It is very difficult. Like I said, this morning I pulled a shot. It was 15 grams in with 45 grams out, or yeah, 45 grams out in 28 seconds. And this time it was 33 grams out. So, you know, things change. Um, I probably should have purged a little bit out of the grinder first before. I mean, it had only been a couple of minutes though before the, that last shot. So it's a finicky, it's a finicky beast. Um, generally though, like what I tell most people is as long as you get a shot in about 30 seconds and it's not, and it's within, you know, a two to, or a one to two or a one to 3.5, somewhere in that range, it's generally gonna be okay. Um, just make sure you're giving it that full 30 seconds, 28 seconds, sometimes 30, you know, I've had shots be really tasty, even all the way up to 38 seconds. It's generally on lighter roast, but. All right, last sip. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Linda, um, she says she's only using her DF64. I will say that I have a very difficult time dialing in on um, flat burr grinders. So if you do use a flat burr grinder, um, realize it's, it's, a, it's a little little harder. It tends to clump more, um, especially compared to the sete, because that sete has like a straight through design. Um, and it also, I don't know, it's just a little bit more finicky. Um, I'm surprised you're getting sour shots though, because generally, with the flat burrs, I get a little bit more bitter, more chocolatey flavors. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna give this a score. I'll give it a 7.8, uh, you know what, a 7.5. It's not my favorite ever. It's pretty traditional. It's not really wowing me in a lot of ways. Um, it's, it's good, it's good espresso. Um, I recommend it if you wanna kinda mix things up. You know, I, I do a lot of reviews just so that people, you know, see um, other stuff. There's plenty of amazing copies out here out there, um, but if you if you stumble upon this and you kind of like traditional espresso, I think it's worth a shot. So necessary coffee blend. I don't. It's kind of weird. That that's the name of this coffee blend. Like roast is there. It's called blend. Um, tasting notes I got was molasses, traditional, very um, like sort of dark chocolate espresso, very coffee, co very coffee forward, and um, some sweetness as well. So, yeah, let's see. We have one more question here. Maybe that's why going to, uh, Linda asked, maybe that's why going to try conical. Yeah, most coffees are chocolate flavor, but the geisha has been, so, yeah, well, geisha coffees generally are very, very um, light roasted. So that might be why. Um, that's, yeah, and maybe run them a little longer. I don't know what uh, what machine you're using right now, Linda, but I, I I know that you were using a Barista Express a little while ago. It's a little hard to do a geisha with that just because 
the pressure is so high. Those are running at like 14 bars sometimes. Um, maybe do a really long pre-infusion if you can and let it run longer than you normally would. Anyways, that's the review. 7.5 for a necessary coffee blend. Uh, hope you all are having a great morning and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.